No, he's gone again. No, there he is. Oh, did we get it? So it's the 1st of August and thus far this year we have not seen a single dragonfly. We have got dog walkers around letting the dogs jump in the pool behind me which might affect our shoot today. But I'm not out to get a portfolio worthy image today, I'm literally just scouting to try and find out where are the dragonflies this year so that we can come out early in the morning and get that killer natural light shot that you see all over the social media. So we're going to go down to the pools here, we're going to see if we can find any dragonflies. I will take some shots of dragonflies, but again, it's not going to be a portfolio worthy image. The conditions are all wrong for photography at the moment. We have two choices. Once we do find a dragonfly, we can wait until the evening, wait for them to cool down, settle down and take a picture. Or we can come back early in the morning and get some natural light macro shots of these dragonflies. But for now, we just want to find one. Insect decline is a massive issue. I think it's 60% declining this year so far. And I've noticed that because we haven't found a single dragonfly so far this year. Normally we've seen one or two by now, particularly down Takaroo pools, and there's just nothing there at the moment. So let's go and find ourselves a dragonfly and see if we've got a good location for some early morning macro photography. You can tell there's water nearby because of the way all the grass has changed, look. So success, we have dragonflies at this location. So far I've seen three distinct different species of dragonfly so far. So this is great news, we have somewhere we can come. The car's parked quite close, so we don't have to trek too much. And uh, we're going to be able to do some early morning macro photography here I think. I'm going to see if I can get some snapshots, I would call them, at this time of day of these dragonflies. And because we are hunting for dragonflies, I am going to be using the IRIX 150mm dragonfly macro lens. The reason I'm using this lens today is because I do have a talk at the photography show this year on the 19th of September. That's why we're going to be using the IRIX 150mm lens to get some shots of these dragonflies. The first thing I'm going to do is, since it's such a small pool, I'm going to take my bag off and just lob it anywhere that people can trip over it. And um, what we want to do here, dragonflies are very territorial. They have their little patches that they like to defend. And every so often, the dragonfly will fly around and land on a perch, and they repeat that constantly. So if we can find one of the dragonfly's perches, we can get set up next to it to take a shot. If that fails, then we'll just hunt them around and just try and get a shot. Now, I don't have the 500mm lens on me today. I've only got the 150 But again, like I said, Mission has already been accomplished. All we want to do today is just find a location that's got a numerous amount of dragonflies so we can come out in the mornings. While I'm sitting here, I'm going to see if I can get a shot in front. That's going to be hard because I don't have autofocus on this lens. But they do keep coming just in front of me and hovering for a very few seconds. I'm going to see if I can get a shot of them. I think they're too fast though for the uh, manual focus to be fair. Oh, he's right there, look. They're all different species as well. It's not just a single one. My question is, is it illegal to capture wild dragonflies? I think it is, because some of them are endangered. I'm pretty sure that couple behind me there were just trying to capture dragonflies because they came from that direction. When we come walking around here, I saw them with nets in their hands. Yeah. But then when they come past us again, they're trying to hide the net in a bag. So I'm wondering, is it illegal to capture dragonflies? So we've come round this side of the pool, we are heading over to that part of the pool where we have seen them land a couple of times. But I think this spot down here may be a perch because I saw a red dragonfly on there perched away. Unfortunately I can't get close enough with this lens. That would be a job for the 500 if we were to come back one day. There's another one look. But I've never seen so many dragonflies in one spot before so I'm quite happy that we found this spot. We definitely need to come back in the morning to see if we can 
grab one. Look at all fighting and everything. Let's get round to the other side where I think there's a, a perch where there's a big large dragonfly landing on there. photographers are always going on about are oh, these new cameras got flippy out screens macro photographers love flippy out screens for me to get the shot of that guy down there i'd have to lie down in the water but because we've got a flippy screen we can just flip it out like that focus it up and take the shot it's not what we come for but i'll take the shot either way So I'm going to go for a dragonfly in shot. I can't turn around because I'm going to disturb the dragonflies. I'm just going to sit here like this and wait for them to come. So I'm just going to sit here, wait for this dragonfly to turn up and see if I can get a shot of him. Here he is. Do you see him? I can't see him through the viewfinder, he's too fast. How far away do you reckon he is? Two metres? He's going, he's going about halfway, so I'd say he's about two metres. I'm going to set my lens to a two metre on the focus. So I can give it a quick snap. If I had an autofocus lens like the RF 100 millimetre, it'd make it a lot easier. There he is. No, he's gone again. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, did we get it? Got him. Oh, is a dead damselfly? So, I've just pulled a dead damselfly out of the water and uh, I've got a myop slider that I need to review. I'm going to see if we can photograph the wings on this damselfly. So I'm going to have to wrap him up, dry him out and uh, We'll take this back to the studio and see if we can do something with it. So we have found damselflies, we have found dragonflies, all different species of dragonflies. They are very active, again it is the midday so they are going to be active. But the good news is we have found a location with both species that we can come down in the morning and photograph when they are docile still they're cold half the time they're still asleep which means we can approach them quite nicely we have time to set up the camera and get some killer shots so mission accomplished we have found a location that we're happy with the car is right by this pool and i'm pretty sure in the morning there's gonna be no dog walkers around to uh, mess anything up there's some beautiful dragonflies though ain't there and big ones yeah, you don't need a macro setup for these dragonflies, I tell you. So subscribe if you're looking forward to that video. I don't know exactly when it will be. We're going to organise everything, get everything set up and get out here and get that done. I also have to learn low light filmmaking because it is going to be dark. That's going to be fun to learn. Again, look out for my talk at the photography show this year at the uh, NEC Birmingham. It's on the Monday the 19th of September at 10.30. More details about that will be on my website. 
I want to thank my Patreon supporters for helping me to bring you this free content here on YouTube. Subscribe, like and share if you liked it. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. I mean, our chances of actually finding a decent dragonfly shot has diminished because of dog walkers. <laughs> We're going to continue. Dog walkers or no dog walkers, we're just going to continue, I think. I mean, at the worst, we might have to wait half an hour for the dragonflies to settle down if there are any there. We don't even know if there's any there. I think it's here. I think it's here. Is it or not? Or is it down there? Now, one of the reasons I'm using this is I have a talk for Irix at this year's photography sale. Cheers. Whoever <laughs> for that one. What was that? An awful load. Oops. Is my ass crack open? No. That's all. So subscribe if you're looking forward to seeing that video about us coming out early in the morning and photographing Dev Grad. I almost had it then. In one take. I almost had that in one take then. <laughs>